10 Coffee Break with Frank and Friends. And you know of our many editions of a Coffee Break here on Facebook Live, many of them have had an eclectic collection of guests, but today has got to be without question uh, the most eclectic, and I know you're going to love every minute of it. Thank you for joining us, and of course, as always, Talk back to us here on Facebook. Post uh, your opinion about everything we are going to talk about. Let me introduce everybody who's no, here. Wait a second. <laughs> listen, just tell them. <laughs> look, I, I listen. Frank was right about everything except I don't want to know about your opinion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off the rails already. So we're, <laughs> here we go. Ten oh one. Yeah, right? yeah okay. we're off to just a check. fine start. First of all, we have two very well-known Rhode Island celebrities here: Rhode Island Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea and Zach Green, of course, who talk about weather uh, for the events we're going to talk about in the next couple of days. And of course, we have two national celebrities uh, among us uh, here as well. Uh, please don't offer any opinions <laughs> to oh, Meatloaf. Don't feel free, because I will write them right back at you. Right? You send me an opinion, you're not going to want to see mine back. That's okay? right. Get it together. Oh, my. <laughs> All right. Nelly can't do that. I can. <laughs> Meatloaf is here because he's involved in the great Comic Con event, which just starts later today. And Steve Grad is with us as well. You may know Steve as the autograph authentication expert on the great uh, cable TV show Pawn Shop. Yeah. And uh, we want to thank both of you for joining us uh, today. Uh, the uh, <laughs> Comic Con starts later today. <laughs> and as you know, it's, it's much more than about comic books nowadays. Along with the comic book creators and characters and exhibitors, the recent uh, editions of Comic Con have features a lot of uh, celebrity guests, the kind of people who have a Bad Out of Hell trilogy album <laughs> series and, and those who check out, uh, who check out uh, Autographs. Yeah, I'm going to sign one in a minute and see if he can authenticate it. <laughs> well, just right here. Yeah. If right, you didn't probably. bring it up, I was going to ask. And I, I guess everybody wants to know, are you going to sing at any time during the event this weekend or just... Uh, Only uh, if you do. <laughs> I've done that. That's the thing is the weird part is we've sat here plenty of times and had a nice right. little duet. So I, I'd like okay, to Okay, well then I'm sorry I brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's amazing, as you know. You know, movie star and uh, many music videos. Album after album after album since your first one in what 1977? Occasional stage play? Uh, no, I. That's what I did. Uh, that's I've, that's what I studied. All right. So I've, I've studied acting, and I started. And I was uh, when I was a senior in high school. I was voted one of the ten best actors in Dallas, uh, and, and and as a senior in high school play and. And then in college, I studied. I, I, I couldn't figure out what I was going to do because I went up to Texas Tech to play football because I, all I wanted to do was play pro, fo pro football. But I had this other thing that I was pretty good at, and I was like being funny. And uh, <laughs> so, so I went to Texas Tech, but that, they ended that really quick. Uh, I, they, some coach back, in the, back when I played in like uh, early BC, the coaches used to, and we, we, we didn't have leather helmets, we had like wood helmets. <laughs> and uh, so the coach grabbed me and said, get in in there on, on the punt. And I, I go, I've never been on a punt. Do you know what to do? And he threw me in there and I got high load and dislocated my knee and my shoulder, had my 18th concussion. Wow. One eight, and, uh, Well, not wow. then, an 11th concussion, and the doctor said, you're done. You know why? Yikes. Well, aside from what I've already said you've accomplished. And, and I you've did already... two Shakespeare's as well. Well, all right. Uh, what, do you, what do you do next? Where do you go from here? What else do you do from uh, now on? Well, I'm hoping to go to uh, South Africa and play a German uh, scientist hmm. in a film. Right. I just had to turn down one because of my back, which is too bad. All right. Well, one of the best roles I've ever seen. Except for, except for I'm here to help Nelly campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, why Look, not? everything we've seen have in the campaign this year. Have you lost control of the show <laughs> well, of now? course. <laughs> of course I have. But with everything we've seen in the campaign this year, that's the next logical step. <laughs> All right, you've offered to, to do an autograph for Steve here. Uh, what will be your role, Steve, at Comic-Con this weekend? Well, I'm here with Beckett Authentication. Also, you guys see me on the History Channel Pawn Stars uh, do the same thing. We authenticate autographs. And just like this, this weekend, he'll be signing there. And we will, uh, what are you signing here? <laughs> Babe, Ruth. Babe Ruth. Perfect. <laughs> Is it that? Babe Ruth? Cool. Yeah, it's pretty close. What do you think, Steve? That's a, I, I, I think it might be bad. <laughs> no, no, that's a, tell them it's original, yes. It's, it's original. It's original, and we'll sell this one cheap. They normally go for about $7,000. This one, this one we'll let you have for $6,000. That's $6, not the real thing. Yeah. 
in the next 15 <laughs> seconds. Start the clock, people. Okay. But that's what I'll be on site authenticating autographs, so people will get his signature and they'll bring it over to, to us to authenticate. So we'll be okay. in the autograph. Just order. curious now, yeah. when you do these kinds of things at these kinds of events, what's the percentage that you've determined are legit autographs versus the bogus ones? The stuff that's brought in by the public will usually run about 30 to 40 percent bad. Really? So we'll end up seeing, you know, it, it, and you know, right now the hottest thing out there is Red Sox. Of course. So we have, you know, a lot of Red Sox stuff we'll see, and it's always been that way. People buy stuff not knowing if it's good or not. They buy stuff without certificates on it. They think they know better than anybody. Well, hey, I'm getting a great deal on this. I might as well buy this Chris Sale. It ends up being fake. So mm -hmm. come to us, find out. That's what I do for a living. I've been doing it pretty much my whole life. I know there's probably a, a lot of different aspects of it, yeah. but what is one of those first tells to say, you know, that this really is Well, usually, stuff? I mean, forgers just don't know how to forge signature right. You know, uh, Meatloaf here has a certain way of signing his name. You know, I've seen his signature signed many times. Certain pressure exerted, certain slant, certain flow. People can't duplicate that that well. I mean, they can get it down a little bit, but there's certain nuances that he does that someone else can't do, and you have to look for those things. You've got a, a couple also of examples Also, the spelling. There. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I brought, I brought yeah. a few examples, so, yeah, you know, you see... does not have a Z in it. Yeah, there's that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think this is one of the most popular autographs out there is Harrison Ford. Uh, Harrison Ford, you know, Indiana Jones here, but also is Han Solo. Heavily forged autograph, you know, and look for certain things with the signature. And also, you know, because it's a Comic-Con type related event, I brought one of these with Ben Affleck. Uh, so we see, I've, I actually had a chance to witness Ben Affleck sign autographs in February in person. And through the signing, almost two hours, he featured about 25 different signatures. It was something I've never seen before. And I was there to witness it and help the companies out that were there getting the stuff signed. But he signed so many different ways. Uh, we were there to witness it, verify it right on the spot. Otherwise, if people would have been like, wait a minute, he signed this way and then this way. He mm. switched. Like if you switch your signature. When you were signing 10 different ways in an hour, people would be like... I, I, I do, probably. But you're pretty consistent. <laughs> you're no, pretty, but yeah. I don't do it on purpose. It's right. just like, like little things like the T and the, and the F. But you stay change. pretty consistent with it. Oh, with the M, yeah. And you have through the years. Yeah. And I've seen your autograph yeah, through the, the years. M. And it's always stayed relatively consistent. I but worked it, on that for years yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks good now, so... Steve Grad, yeah. Meatloaf, also coming up. Kiefer, Kiefer Sutherland, Hayden Christensen from Star Wars episodes two and three, cast members from Games of Thrones, Stranger Things in Smallville, Elvira, the Mistress of Darkness, mm. will be at Comic-Con as well. 3 to 9 p.m. today, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us. Oh, and don't forget Lou Diamond Fellows, my oh, friend. That's right. There, yeah. there are many, many, many more, too. Oh, there's sure. goes on oh, forever. Yeah. That's just a partial list. And now we're going to help Nellie with her campaign? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready to go. <laughs> we're not ready to I let got, you go. Listen, I got up early, and All I'm right, not You leaving. are here, my friend. Yeah, yeah. so uh, please uh, <laughs> learn some things about the, the Rhode Island election campaign and offer any advice you might have. That's right. <laughs> well, Did actually, I just say that? signatures, uh, the, being able to see whether signatures signatures are valid or not actually is a very important part for elections. Oh yeah, I was actually, yeah that's a good point. I was yeah. actually tongue-in-cheek going to suggest that uh, you hire uh, Mr. Grad here to check on some of the, the voter signatures that's for the applications. Right. Uh, that process of course is, is well past that stage. Yes. Would you say that uh, uh, the, the machines are ready and the computer systems are ready? How do you yeah. how do you rank what's happened? So there? no I think you know we're, we're ready to go. I mean the Board of Elections is in charge of election uh, day and has actually done a great job of prepping for it, less, you know, learn from past lessons and things like that. They're working very hard with local boards of canvassers at every city and town. So if anybody has any questions, they can go to vote.ri.gov to look at their ballot, to look at their polling location, um, or they can call us at 222-2340 at the Department of State. We can help you answer any question you have about the upcoming election. Yeah, the stuff is readily available online, yes. perhaps more so than it has been in years past. As far as the different campaigns uh, in the Rhode Island election go, the race for Secretary of State has been mo one of the quieter ones. One issue did come up last yes. weekend in the Providence Journal, and now your Republican opponent, Pat Cordelessa, is asking to know, I guess his press release says something to the effect of what other uh, secret changes to the voter rolls did you make without telling people, and he's referring to what was released last weekend, that uh, part of the dates of uh, voters' births mm -hmm. was eliminated from the records, and there was some concern that that might lead uh, to voter fraud of yeah. some kind. No, yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm glad you brought this up because there's a lot of misunderstandings about what I did. Basically, in July of 2017, we after consulting with cybersecurity experts, hearing a lot from people who are very concerned about their identity being stolen, took out the month and day of birth 
but kept the year. Hmm. So you can distinguish between John Smith Jr. and John Smith Sr. We give the, the voter list of the 780,000 voters out on a CD-ROM. We don't want to put all that information out there at this day and age. When that report was first created 12 years ago, nobody thought about identity theft. Now it's a real issue. So you can still look for somebody's date of birth, full date of birth, if you go to the local cities and towns or you contact our office. But we don't just give it wholesale. And I think this is a real big balancing act between the integrity of the voting process, making sure that we can hold people accountable uh, through the voter lists, but also protecting the identity of every voter. So it, it actually doesn't uh, perpetuate voter fraud, you're saying? It, That's it right. Helps prevent I think it prevents it. It still keeps everybody accountable, but it protects the identity of every voter, which is very important this day and age. Well, we I think well that's a good idea. Thank you. Well, so you've got an endorsement from out of state, so that's a good thing. That's uh, right. Why don't, we, can't vote. why don't we settle this by, if you can, just answer the rhetorical question Mr. Cordelessa made, what other secret changes were oh, made? So the, that part was really funny because I actually have been extremely transparent during my last four years. I'm a community advocate from many, many years. I came into this office. Everything we've done has been transparent. We actually went ahead and told all the cities and towns that we were doing this. So there's nothing hidden about this at all. All right. So uh, hopefully that answers both sides of that. Uh, thanks for coming in, especially yeah. with what is a hazard of your profession, know, the uh, laryngitis. laryngitis. Yeah, right towards the end of the uh, of the campaign. Campaigning season. and motherhood. <laughs> yeah, you needed me to talk for you. That's Thank all. You. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we might as well ask you, what do you do to to avoid laryngitis if you got a concert coming up or something? Um, I do a show. I stop talking as soon as the show's over. I go um, back to my dressing room. Don't talk. Go to my room. Don't talk and usually have a day off, don't say a word, mm -hmm. and I don't speak for almost 48 hours. Oh, wow. yeah. See, she doesn't have yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. She doesn't yeah. have that. Do that. No, no. No, Especially she, in campaign season, you don't have that luxury. No, no. and being a mom. Luxury yeah. is the one. I go home, there's no way yeah. I'm not talking. <laughs> no. Somebody needs to do something that they haven't done. <laughs> well, no, you could, you could just do signs. You, you know. Oh, just hold up large <laughs> signs. You know, yeah. and, and, and people ask yeah. you questions, you just go, hang on. <laughs> yeah, you need a cue card. Yeah, exactly. System, you know. All right. That might be a good idea for you. All right, we've talked about some events coming up in the days ahead. Comic Con this week and, of course, the big election day next week. Let's check on the I weather for both of those days. A deep breath here after following all oh, of this. Yeah. I, I, nobody wants to hear about the rain at this point, mm -hmm. but Comic Con is inside, so yeah. that at least helps a little bit. And we it did is? deal with the rain. It is. Oh, <laughs> good. We're good now. We're all right. Now you're okay? You want to do it? Yeah, I'm good. All right, we were a little skeptical <laughs> before. But we dealt with the rain early this morning, and it really hasn't amounted too much, but heavy downpours to a point, a quarter of an inch here and there. We are going to see plenty more on the way, more so for the evening hours and tomorrow morning. But you notice that a lot of the ocean state is enveloped in this green right now. So that is some steady, moderately heavy rain to a point right around the 95 corridor heading down towards South County. You're probably going to see some of those heavier pockets. But when all is said and done, it's going to be about an inch and a half to two inches. And that means we could have some localized street flooding. The bigger concern for me, rather than the rain, is what happens on the back end of this system. The wind come tomorrow afternoon, it is really going to be whipping, which means that possible tree limbs come down, possible power outages are around, and the biggest issue is the fall foliage. It's just going to be littering the lawn. So come Sunday, we want to break out the rakes. It is going to be drying up at that point, a little bit cooler too, mid 50s for our highs with mostly sunny skies, and then another round of rain for early and middle parts of next week. But no 20s in our sights. We had that on Halloween morning. We thought maybe November would start off on a cool note. We don't have any shot of seeing the freezing point, which I guess is good news. And I look, I looked at the Tuesday forecast there, Nelly, with sh showers, especially later in the day and into the evening for the last few hours of voting. So vote so, early. No, no. So yeah, so you can actually go emergency mail ballot today and Monday at your city and town hall. Good to know. And so definitely, if you don't think you're going to make it out on, on November 6th, go to your city or town hall and vote emergency ballot. All right. We're, Can we're, I bring up one thing real quick? Of course. Quick? Okay. Uh, just, uh, just telling everybody that there's a lot of celebrities here at, at Comic-Con. And, and if they're like me, and I know, I know a lot of these people, and they are, and what this is about, yes, it's about, but mostly it's about being able to communicate and meet your fans that have, I mean, they've been supporting me for over 50 years. And, and it's really important to me. And the fan is the most important thing for any, for you, mm -hmm. anybody, for you, yeah, for, for you guys. For us too, oh, sure. And yeah, so sure. 
we owe the most respect to the fan, and I think most of the people there do, and I know I do, yeah. and I care more about my fan yeah. than anything. I've so said, now I said that on a serious note. No, yeah. it is a serious well, note. That's a rare yeah. moment. <laughs> <laughs> I've said this for a long time, too. Without the audience, uh, without our right, viewership, we'd be nothing. Right. Without Voters. the voting public, right? Yeah. And, and same with, with celebrities such as yourselves mm -hmm. on, a, on a national scale. So yeah, we, we always appreciate it. We never, we never take for granted. Saluting you, you guys. Salute yeah. is right. And uh, we thank you for joining us today on Coffee Break. We'll see you again on Monday.